Armin in the back, 104.5, the team, your home for New York sports, Detroit Lions beat writer for the Detroit News, Josh Katzenstein with Armin in the back. And Josh, as we look at the Lions this year, Calvin Johnson has been one of the best players in all of the NFL, had some injuries uh, last year. Can he be all pro again in 2015? Uh, based on what I've seen in training camp, absolutely. I mean, day in and day out, Calvin looks like the best player on the field and I mean, that's sort of been his calling card his whole career that, you know, he doesn't let up in practice or really any situation. And, and, I mean, that's proven to be true again this year. I mean, he makes great plays even when guys like Darius Slay, Rasheed Mathis have perfect coverage on him. And, I mean, he looks fast. He looks healthy. So, uh, I mean, as long as, you know, he avoids the injuries that plagued in the past couple of years, I think he could, uh, you know, end up staying one of the best receivers in the league. Now, on the other side of the ball, you lose a tremendous playmaker in Adamakin Sue. You bring in Haloti Nada to, to fill that hole, sizable as it is. How, how good has he been in, in the role of Sue? He suffered a hamstring injury when he was training away from the team this summer, so he's on the uh, non football injury list. But, uh, I mean, all indications from, you know, his, his little time this spring and, and everything, and, and everything the coaches have said is that they, they fully expect him to step in and, and be the run stopper that he was in Baltimore, and I think that even though you lose some of the you know pass rush potential with Nada in there instead of Sue, I think uh, the Lions are hopeful that they, they can generate pass rush from other spots. I'm not as optimistic as they are in that respect, but I do think that you know with Nada and a few other guys you know replacing the Nick Fairley, C.J. Mosley spot next to him, I think that uh, it shouldn't be too dramatic of a drop-off uh, on the interior line. Josh Katzenstein with Armin and Levac of the Detroit News. So, Josh, just to clarify, I mean, you mentioned no Fairley, no Sue. How much of a hit when you watch this Detroit Lions defensive line? I mean, they have been known for that push on the defensive side of the ball up front. How much of a different team is this going to look like this year without that? Oh, it's, I mean, it's going to look totally different, and uh, that's something that I asked Terrell Austin about a couple weeks ago when, when he talked uh, early in training camp. And, I mean, he admitted as much that the Lions are going to have to generate pressure from, from different spots than they have, you know, in recent memory. Because, really, since they got Sue, you know, they, you know, and that was all the way back in 2010, I mean, they have really predicated that defense on generating that interior push and everything else, you know, following, you know, around that. So, I think it's going to look a lot different. I think they're going to hope that Ziggy Ansah can have a big breakout year, uh, create some pressure from the edge. Uh, last year in Austin's defense, they, they blitzed a lot more, and especially, you know, using uh, Stephen Tolick in his first few games, DeAndre Levy. I mean, they'll put those two linebackers, you know, right at the line to start plays, you know, even in between the two defensive tackles at times. So I think you're going to see, you know, a creative defense and one that, you know, blitzes a lot more to account for what they lost in the middle. Josh, how is Tolick looking after that, uh, his recovery from that freak injury? He looks really good, honestly. Uh, I mean, he looks fast. He looks eager to hit some guys. I remember, you know, the first day the pads came on, he was one of the loudest guys on the field just because he was popping anyone that came near him. Um, and, and he told me the other day that he does feel better because, I mean, when you get those 13 games off, even though, you know, you're spending most of the time rehabbing that knee, the rest of your body, you know, has time to heal instead of, you know, taking all those hits throughout the year. So, I mean, I expect him to return to the level that he was before the injury. Josh Katzenstein of Detroit News at Josh Katzenstein on Twitter. And Josh, the Detroit Lions last year, 11-5 and NFC Wild Card game. They're not going to be that good this year, are they? What do you think after seeing them in camp? I mean, it's really hard to say. Uh, I, I'm one of the people that think the Vikings are going to be you know, significantly better than they were last year. I mean, it's a 7-9 and nine team that gets Adrian Peterson back. Um, I think that uh, I think really with the Lions, there's a chance that they could be a better team because even if the defense – falls off a little bit. Um, I, even if the defense falls off a little bit, the offense should be better. And uh, so that should balance things out. But their first five games of the season, they go at San Diego, at Minnesota, home for Denver, at Seattle, home for Arizona. So even if they're a better team, it might not translate in more wins, which you know would obviously be a disappointing thing for a lot of people here in Detroit. Josh, how does rookie uh, Amir Abdullah look? Excellent. I mean, besides Calvin Johnson, I would say he's been the most impressive player throughout training camp. Seems like every day he, he does, you know, either a cutback or a juke move, something that, you know, makes defenders look silly. 
And I mean, even even some of the top you know defensive players on the Lions, like Pollock and Levy, you know, have struggled tra- tracking him down throughout practice. So uh, I, I would expect him to, you know, definitely get at least fifty fifty split with uh, Joyce Bell to start the season. But I think as the year goes on, you'll see that. He starts to get uh, the brunt of the workload. Great update from Lions Camp. Josh Katzenstein from Lions Camp, Detroit News. Josh, thanks for your time today, man. Appreciate it. Yeah, thank you.